thrust, the throat thrust is still illegal. So are these close fists. The champion going on the offensive, taking it to Anderson Knight. Just stomping a muggle on him. Oh! Nick Zero taking out Jason Blazin. Dirty Nasty is currently at ringside, hot pants and all, taking it to Jason Blazin, the super, the super junior oh, champion. Oh. Huge spine buster on, on the side. Anderson Knight with a victory. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Anderson Knight. Albeit a slightly tainted victory, but in the record book, the W does not have an asterisk by it. I'm going to see if I can get a word with Anderson Knight at ringside. coming up, Craig Black. Jack Reville thought he was going to outsmart me, but he doesn't have any brains. I trained him so I know how he thinks. He had to get a bunch of guys I already done beat. A bunch of guys that Conrad has done beat. And a bunch of guys that our newest member of Team Honey Badger done beat. And Keith Creed being our newest member, the champ is talking, so you shut your mouth. You can say that. You see, Keith Cream has everything we want in a team member. He trains, he studies, and he's beaten up Jack Reville more times than I have. Keith, you have anything you want to add? When I look for people I associate myself with, I look for hard workers. Yeah. I look for people that are tough. Unlike George Mack. George Mack is a fountain of fat. Blubbly, 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 blubbly. 
He's a fountain of fat. Blubbly, blubbly, blubbly. And I'm a fountain of greatness. Respect me! Tonight, when we decimate Jack Faville and end his career, because I'm done with him, I will be the greatest champion that this company has ever seen because I'm the only champion this company has ever seen. I'm the toughest man alive! You heard it from Team Honey Badger and the toughest man alive, our champion, CJ Archin with Keith Cream and Conrad Lauchs. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the season finale of Capital Pro Wrestling. Come out to the Fletch on November 19th to see the final taping of the 2022 season. The Great Lakes Television Championship will be on the line, as well as the Great Lakes Tag Team titles. You're not going to want to miss out on all the feuds in CPW wrap up. Capital Pro Wrestling will be away for December and January, so make sure you're there in person and send us off right. Tickets are available now from cpwnov2022.bpt.me. We can't wait to see you at ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, this singles match is scheduled for one fall. Coming to the ring first, accompanied by the guru. Uh-uh, you ain't good enough to introduce my man, so allow me, the supreme manager, the guy in the tie-dye, the guru, to properly introduce to you, hailing from Inkster, Michigan, he is a T-H-U-G, the finest of the family, Royce Carney III, R-C-3! Wrestling Showcase. I am TV's Craig Black, and to my right is the handsomest man I know, Span. Thank you very much, TV's Craig Black. Hey. I appreciate the very generous, generous but accurate description. Yeah, I mean, having you sit next to me just makes me prettier. 
by your radiance shining upon me. I try not to say these things in public. I have said them to friends, but I try not to let them get out. But I will totally accept what you have said about the uh, full girthiness of my countenance. So, yes. I can't argue that point either. Uh, and uh, Eddie Dillon's opponent today is a newcomer to Capital Pro Wrestling and the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase, RC3. RC3 is the grandson of the BUFNG. The BUFNG was a legendary wrestler, spending time as a manager in Georgia Championship Wrestling. He is a, RC3 is a third generation superstar and a large fan he is determined to absolutely the infuriate State. the Michigan State fans around here. Eddie Dillon not putting up with it, though, showing why he is the bouncer of Capital Pro Wrestling and putting the fist right to RC3, taking him down with that drop kick, charging in. Oh, nice headlock takeover, taking him down right in the middle of the ring. RC3 trying to figure out what is going on, and he's about to catch us a little bit more. Oh! Snap, Mare! Only getting a two count from our referee, Chris Young. Eddie Dillon trying to rally the fans uh, at ringside into his cause. Which is, oh! Spine buster from RC3. Cutting the man off, taking back control of this match. Still recovering from some of that jaw work from the bouncer of Capital Pro. By the way, he got that nickname explicitly for an altercation that happened. We, we, don't, we don't talk about that altercation. Fair enough. I mean, it's on YouTube. Oh, oh the, the guru uh, making sure that Eddie Dillon uh, seems to be okay, checking out. Uh, I was going to say his ear looked like. Nice snap suplex on RC3, taking Eddie Dillon over cleanly. Oh, only getting a two count. Eddie able to get those shoulders up. I don't want to talk bad about the third generation superstar, but that seemed to be a lackadaisical cover. If he would have put his weight behind it, he could have got probably kept Dillon down with that suplex. I think he's just kind of throwing it in his face, you know, letting him know, I control this, this is my ring, you'll just have to miracle some type of offense sure. while I destroy you. S just throwing him down to the ring, taking back control, asserting his authority. And it, was Eddie Dillon really ready for what was coming to him from RC3, the third generation superstar? Big back elbow out of RC3, taking the man down. Right, right in the middle of the ring with that pin attempt, and only a two count. Well, RC3 seemed to put a little bit more to that pin attempt, much as it'll, oh. Worst thing you can do is work hard, camp side. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is an unusual method of coming up with a three count, adding up several incomplete pins in a row. Common core math allows you to add by grouping. I never understood common core math. That's okay, most people don't. Fair enough. Boot to the chest from Eddie Dillon. Oh! Eddie Dillon would not be dismayed or set aside by RC3 and now oh from the top from the second rope taking him down at that I guess we call that an avalanche DDT hook in the leg only getting a two count a lot of fight left in RC3 RC3 trying to roll towards Eddie Dillon, trying to come up with some type of offense. Guru, make, Guru earning his money here, getting in. RC3 is here, getting him up to his feet. <laughs> Only to get his man clotheslined by Eddie Dillon. Big back elbow, Eddie firing up, taking RC3 to town. Eddie Dillon using some of those famous punches, ducking the kick. Oh, only to get kicked right in the mouth. 
Oof, that was a little bit. You do not taunt your opponent in the middle of a match. It just does not bode well. Eddie able to kick out, only a two count. A lot of fight left in Eddie Dillon. No, RC3 letting us know it's over with. Yeah, it, and over there is where he went. Eddie out of the way. Thunderous punch, snapmare takeover, getting his man out of the corner. Setting him up for, oh, huge kick no. right to the shoulder. Kick, kick to his pecs. Was he expecting the kick? Is that what RC3 wanted? He wanted uh, to take a kick from the bouncer? Uh, 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 RC3 was just eating those kicks up. Knee strike, almost cutting off that axe handle from Eddie Dillon. Oh! Double underhook into that drop, and that's all it took. Your winner, RC3. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Ladies and gentlemen, victorious in his first appearance at the Great Lakes Professional Showcase, RC3 with the Guru. Camera. Look at this. Oh, guys, Hey, just like your homeboy, Listen, Capital Pro, you just see what my man can do. So next time we're here, we want you to roll out that red carpet, shine up every title you got in this company, because we're taking it all. The finest in the family is here to just destroy this entire company. So put him on notice, Black. I will, Guru. And you read that. Your winner, the third generation superstar, RC3 with the Guru. Ladies and gentlemen, I, at this time, I would like to bring to the ring Nick Zero. Nick Zero, a pleasure to have you here at the Great Lake Professional Wrestling Showcase. I don't know if you noticed this earlier, a week ago, or whatever it happens to be. But I beat Blazin when he was standing here being all goofy, and I popped him in the side of the head. Yeah, it's called cheating. And I do it better than anybody else here. And I'm about ready to prove it in... You gotta watch? I don't. Oh, well, a couple seconds here. So just keep watching. Next week on the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase, the Super Junior Weight Championship is on the line as Dirty Dylan Derringer challenges the greatest Jason Blazin. How will this one end? And in our main event, it's tag team action as the made men, Don Don Leone and Babyface J, do battle with War Inc., Billy Ray Daniels and Dre Jacobs. Who will move on to face the tag champs? You're not going to want to miss a second of the action next week on the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. Ladies and gentlemen, this singles match is scheduled for one fall. Already in the ring. One half of Dirty Nasty from Flint, Michigan, weighing 220 pounds, Nasty Nick Zero! His opponent, a part of the only made men. He's from, don't worry about it, weighing 200.
225 pounds, the Mafia Mad Dog, Matt Valentino! For all of his talking, Nick Zero might have bitten off more than he can chew. Getting this match against the Mafia Mad Dog, Matt Valentino. Yeah, nasty Nick Zero is all about getting nasty, but I don't know if this is the type of nail. Oh! Yeah, that right, right off the bat, Nick Zero, before the bell was even called for, just making sure that Matt had the proper wrestling equipment. He's very casually making an explanation to the referee to let him know what happened. Nick Zero uh, with a slight advantage applying the boots to Matt Valentino at the moment. That is absolutely one of the nastiest ways to open a fight up. From Nasty Nick Zero, I should have not been surprised. Nasty Nick Zero cheats better than anyone else here at Capital Pro Wrestling. He also has one of my favorite shirts available for sale at our live events. What is this shirt? Uh, the Nasty Club one that I, that I was wearing earlier and I got a bunch of gravy on. Nick Zero stomping on Matt Valentino. Matt Valentino uh, showing his opinion in Nick Zero, but not getting the time to get up to a, a standing base. Dragged up. Uh, looks like looks like looks like Zero is going to wrap this up with Jason Blazin coming in. Jason Blazin and Pond the Psych laying the boots. They just took out the ref. Oh that's, my God! That's gonna cost Jason Blazin fifteen hundred dollars. Putting his hand on a Capital Pro Wrestling official. No one should ever put their hands on a wrestling official. Oh, it's chaos in the ring. Oh, I, I I don't understand what what brought this on. Last episode. The Dirty Nasty came out and uh, caused, ca cost on the psych his victory. Oh, that's right. In his debuting of the the National Pro Wrestling National Heavyweight Champion. Yes, National Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Yes. Jason Blazin trying to kick Nick Zero in the stomach to get him out of the ring. It's a big task. Speaking of big tasks, I'm going to go to ringside to get a word with these two competitors. Be careful, TV's Craig Black. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes another episode of the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. We will see you back here at ringside. <laughs>